Hi everyone, welcome to the part 4 of this docker practical guide series. In this video I will show how easily we can install WordPress and MySQL with docker and docker compose. We know that WordPress and MySQL both are extremely popular tools for the web. If I show the download number from docker hub, MySQL was downloaded more than 1 billion times and WordPress was downloaded more than 500 million times. Let's build a basic WordPress site. As I will use Docker Compose for installing WordPress and MySQL, I would request you to watch part 3 of this series which was mainly focused on Docker Compose. I will put the link in the description below. And also you can see the link here in the top right corner. Let's create a folder called My WordPress Site. As we have seen in the part 3 of this docker practical guide series, we can use docker compose for running multiple containers with a single command. For that we need a file called docker compose eml. I am creating that file. Let's open this with vs code. As we know we need mysql for wordpress. So here in the services section we will have two items. One is wordpress, another one is mysql. We can provide any name here. I am giving my WP site. We are gonna use the WordPress image from Docker Hub. We are also using the latest version. I will provide the port mappings here. WordPress by default runs on port 80. I am mapping to port 8000 for the host machine. I am saying to restart always if it fails. We need another image which is MySQL. Let's add that as a service. I'm giving the name MySQL DB. With the image MySQL from Docker Hub. For MySQL also restart will be always. For MySQL we need to provide the credentials which we can pass in the environments. I am providing the database name WPDB. We need to tell Docker Compose that WordPress depends on MySQL DB. WordPress service needs MySQL DB information so that it can connect to the database. We can pass through the environment. Here is the database name WPDB and this is the user and password which is coming from here. As MySQL listens to this port by default, we are using that port. Now I am adding a volume here and this volume DB data saves any updates made by WordPress to the database. Let's now run the docker compose command. It is pulling MySQL and WordPress images from Docker Hub. Let's wait for that. Okay, awesome. MySQL and WordPress both containers are running right now. And the names here MySQL DB and MyWP site are actually coming from this Docker Compose EML file. Here we have defined MyWP site and MySQL DB. As we have mapped WordPress site to 8000 port, let's try to hit it in the browser. Nice, we can see wp admin slash install.php here. I will install WordPress now. Let's select English. I will provide a title for this WordPress site. The Destro Dev Show. I am providing Destro as username. I can keep the default password for the demo. I am keeping the password in a notepad so that I can use it for later login. Here in the email field, I am just giving a test email for this demo. Let's click install WordPress. Awesome, WordPress has been installed. Let's log in. My user was Destro and I am providing the same password I used. Cool, I am logged in and I am on WordPress admin dashboard now. If I want to see the WordPress site we just created, I can go here and click visit site. So now we have installed WordPress, MySQL and also created a basic Hello World WordPress site. And I have used Docker and Docker Compose for this. If you don't have Docker installed in your host machine, 
you can watch part one of this series where I showed how to install Docker. And also if you want to learn more about Docker Compose, please watch part three of this Docker practical guide series where I talked a bit more about Docker Compose. Hope you are enjoying this Docker practical guide series. Then please click the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon for notifications. See you in my next video. Thanks a lot. Ciao.